This is Maberly, a small hamlet off Highway 7, just west of Perth. Now, it's a community with two kinds of people. The descendants of the original settlers, still scratching an existence from the land, and the newcomers, people who have come to escape city life. Well, one of the latter is Willie Nelson. He's known far and wide as the Maberly candle maker. Willie is also the creator of the Maberly monster. You'd have to say that he's an eccentric with a touch of genius. Willie has a passion for showing the unimaginable through his wax sculptures. He may be the stuff that legends are made of. I wonder if a hundred years down the road we won't be looking back in awe to the time when on the eve of All Saints, Willie Nelson burned his monster of wax. He lives here on the bank of the Fall River with his wife, Veronica Earth, and their two young children. They make their living mostly from candles, but she also has a job right now working on an Ontario build project called Highway 7 Development. Its purpose is to create jobs in a depressed area. I have to be quite frank about, about meeting you today. Um, I have been looking forward to sitting down with you, Willie, because I don't know where the heck to start with you. I mean, the story, you, you know this thing that legends are made of? Hey, people have got to be just, they have to border almost, they have to have a touch of madness in them and, uh, and just constantly on the fly. And that is yeah. how you're striking me. I'm constantly on the fly, like you see. I like it this never dull moment in my life. How about you? Oh, I can't keep up. I don't know what's going on from day to day, moment to moment. It's exciting, though. I cheated a bit today. I ended up talking to one of your neighbors and, uh, one a little insight as a neighbor would have into the life of Willie Nelson. And it was just great the way he explained to me how, well, there's never a dull moment in town with Willie there. And I said, tell me a little more. And he said, well, Willie's the kind of guy that'll walk out of the house and come halfway across the yard and stop and scratch his head. <laughs> and he'll turn around, go towards the house, stop again, go to the garden, dig like crazy for about a minute, drop the shovel, go back in the house, come out of the house and zip into the workshop. And then all of a sudden in the car and he's gone. But we make a good combination because you are extreme and you give them all kinds of entertainment that I would never think of and uh, I provide all this sort of secure nurturing parts that kids need too. Uh, Did you provide any of that for Willie? He needs a lot too. <laughs> she's been, like she's been my back. Without her I could not have made any monster or been in, in going as far as I've gone without her because she's my backbone. It's Willie Nelson's Maberly Monster Bash, rocking to the music of The Shock, a promising new group from Perth. Willie and Veronica were married on Halloween in a mock ceremony three years ago. Tonight, they're celebrating their anniversary. Now, here's a good look at Willie's latest and greatest creation, a 20-foot high monster of wax over burlap. People came by the hundreds to Doug Buker's farm just outside Maberly at $5 a throw to take part in the madness. By the way, I asked Willie if he was a little crazy. He said, yes, I think we're all a little crazy, but it's the crazy people that make life interesting. Well, ain't that the truth? Willie was working in his shop late one night on a creature of wax. 20 feet high, when suddenly a vision materialized. He'd have a party and set the creature on fire. So he held a bash, a monster bash. What a splash. It was a Maberly smash, the monster bash. It caught on in a flash, the monster bash. It was monstrous madness. Foolish old ladies and horrible old men. Long-nosed witches, even Dracula came. They danced and they drank well into the night. When Willie cried suddenly, does anyone have a light? Up the ladder with his gasoline can, Willie scaled his monster and soaked it with gas. As the ghouls and goblins stood in awe all around, Willie came down and when he hit the ground, he lit a match. Congregation gasped, he lit another match. It caught on in a flash. Old Willie laughed 
as the flames slowly rose till suddenly the monster appeared to explode and a cheer erupted from everyone's throat as the great wax monster quivered and shook. They all shook hands and they drank more beer. Don't you wish that you had been there? Willie, tell me, is it true what I hear? You're building a 35-foot monster next year. Has Willie gone mad, or has he started to fad? Will we all be burning monsters this time next year? Having a bash, a monster bash, having a splash, like the neighborly smash. Igor, bring me some wax. We're going to the monster bash. Remember, Igor, don't forget the gas. Quickly now, give me more wax. No, no, Igor, don't eat the wax. We need it for the Mabel Monster Bash. Igor, Igor, bring back my wax, Igor. Come back, Igor. Igor, bring me back. This is often the case in life. Things are not always what they appear to be. For example, you may think you're listening to a pumpkin head, when in fact, you're listening to me. Now, my idea I've been called worse in my life than pumpkin head. So much for Country Report's Halloween Madness. I've had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you've enjoyed the show. And by the way, come Halloween, beware of wax monsters, the witch of Plum Hollow, Pumpkins and me. Don't you wish that you had been there? Willie, tell me, is it true what I hear? You're building a 35-foot monster next year. Has Willie gone mad, or has he started to fad? Will we all be burning monsters this time next year? Having a bash, a monster bash, having a splash. Like the neighborly smash. Igor, bring me some wax. We're going to the monster bash. Remember, Igor, don't forget the gas. Quickly now, give me more wax. No, no, Igor, don't eat the wax. We need it for the neighborly monster bash. Igor, Igor. Come back, Igor!